changes. And in San Antonio, the question is, what is Google going to do? For people, quite frankly, who don't have internet access and for whom no amount of money is affordable. So the Connect Home commitment applies to all of our fiber markets. So there will be a partnership with the Housing Authority in San Antonio now that we're announced. Um, that partnership will vary from city to city, and so it's very contingent upon what are the partners that we can bring to the table. We've had some amazing investments, commitments for investments already for San Antonio. Lorenzo mentioned the 8020 Foundation. Um, they committed over $100,000 for the initiative that will be rolled out in San Antonio. Yes, $100,000. And so that money will hopefully be invested in a digital literacy education, devices, as well as getting people to really utilize the access. Um, through our research and the, our work in the past, Google Fiber understands that the digital divide is a complex problem that requires partnership. So we are definitely here to help come to the table and figure out how San Antonio can help solve this issue for all residents. Um, yeah, because I mean, Connect Home only deals sure. with 6,000 families. Yeah, so and Connect City of 1.25 million. Exactly. So that's a very small. Yeah, and the digital divide, percentage. specifically for San Antonio, is very high. Um, I think it's a little less than 40% of individuals that do not have a, connect, a affordable broadband connection at home. Um, but we, our approach in dealing with this issue, because it is a complex issue, is through a three-prong strategy. So that we know now, um, now today, if a family does not have an internet connection at home, it's not just because of one reason. It's uh, usually it's it's because, because of one reason. Um, it's usually a combination of things like affordability, like you mentioned, um, devices, not an access to affordable device, and also the relevancy literacy piece. So a person and um, this, in this, the category of individuals that usually falls in, into, into the, against this barrier uh, tend to be elderly, low-income residents. So a person that understands that the Internet is out there but doesn't really know how it is relevant to their lives. Part, so part of what you know, home was about also with sure. children. Sure. And the children who are being given devices by the school, because mm -hmm. the school has no problem coming up with devices mm -hmm. and can send them home with those devices. Yeah. But once they send them home with those devices, so, they don't have that. So the and devices the are obviously mm -hmm. terrifically literate. And, mm -hmm. and here we have San Antonio Library and mm -hmm. other partners who are teaching digital media literacy mm -hmm. every day. And there are some really awesome organizations here in San Antonio that fo are focusing on that liter literacy piece. Mm -hmm. And hopefully through this um, initiative, we can bring more of those stakeholders to the table to talk to each other and share that education. You know, you mentioned the San Antonio Public Libraries. There's the Bear County Bibliotech, um, organizations that focus, like Martina Street Women's Center, that are doing just awesome programming in the community. Um, I think it's going to take a, a, a real um, a conversation between these stakeholders to figure out, okay, if Google Fiber is going to be bringing the access through this initiative, how do we make sure that it is fully utilized? How do we make sure that these families understand the investment in the infrastructure and are taking advantage of this and, of this and connection. Make sure that they can yeah. It. How do they, so so the, through the Connect Home initiative, um, that plan will cover a specific amount of units that's an unspecified for San Antonio at this point, but it'll be a free basic internet connection. So that solves one piece of the equation. Then it's going to be up to the city of San Antonio and the other partners that we've been discussing to figure out the device piece and the literacy piece. Um, as you mentioned, schools oftentimes are really good at providing technology, um, but what we've come up against in the past, um, in which the president rem remarked in specified in his remarks is the homework gap, right? So it's a student that's being assigned a homework assignment, but once they get home, they don't have any way to complete that. I think the statistic now is that more than 80% of the homework assignments that are being assigned throughout the United States should be completed online. So Connect Home is a, we will try to deal with that very specific issue, and um, I think it's going to be put back on the city to figure out what is the more expand, what's the expanded comprehensive version of that? How are we going to fill in the gaps for individuals who aren't in low-income housing um, right. no, properties, no, 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 but but are still but still find the affordability piece a real challenge and the relevancy piece. So it's going to be really exciting going forward. I'm excited to be here in the community working with various stakeholders. Um, I'm originally from San Antonio. I, I have a background um, in working in communities. I used to work for the Guadalupe Street Coffee Shop in Avenida at the Free Commuter Lab that they had there. Um, I went to St. Mary's University, which has a very strong curriculum in public service and social justice. Um, so as a local, as a person, I feel like I really have a good understanding of the challenges that we're going to be facing as a business, and I'm just very excited to figure out what that strategy is to get make sure that the people who are not, not, aren't online now will be able to have the tools they need to really, you know, maximize the service and be able to take advantage of this. Because, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 
um, Martina Street Women's Center is, is right near, in the Promised Neighborhood Zone. Yeah, and so I've and talked... At Wheatley, Wheatley Middle School, I know we've been there. The um, internet connectivity is, mm-hmm. is, is screaming fast. It's mm-hmm. not a gig, but it's, um, it's, fast. it's very, very fast. Mm-hmm. And when a, when a student walks out that door and walks across the street, there is no internet access whatsoever in that whole neighborhood around it. And and there are challenges mm-hmm. for places like Martina Street Women's Center. Yes. There are, we can't live stream from uh, Guadalupe Cultural Arts because there is no internet. There. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, you know, the, the parts of this community, yeah. who there just is not access. I agree. And so, the, it's the strategy will have to really look hard at these communities and figure out what those gaps are. So, like you just mentioned, there sometimes there's incredible resources and incredible school doing great things, but they just don't have the connectivity piece. And so, the kids so, can't get their homework. Exactly. So, fiber, fiber will. In, the intention is to expand throughout the city and hopefully expand into those pockets to bring that connectivity to those areas. And it'll be heavily dependent upon those awesome community partners like Guadalupe and, and the schools and, and the Eastside Promise neighborhood and, and really strong stakeholder tables to really make sure that the residents are understanding the service that is coming to them and figuring out the best way to apply that service to their lives. So we're here to fit, you know, we're bringing one piece of that puzzle, um, but in other cities we've had a really great, um, we have a really great track record with working within the communities, bringing out a localized strategy. We realized that what we did in Kansas City might not apply to San Antonio. We're coming from you know, two different places, two different cultures, two different histories. Um, so the strategy, I'm, I'm confident the strategy that we bring to San Antonio, that we help contribute to in San Antonio, um, will best, you know, serve that community and serve those needs. It's going to be very, it's going to be, I, I'm confident that we're going to be, you know, really assessing those gaps in a way that is really relevant to the, the, the community here. Yeah. All right. No problem. We'll, we'll follow up with you. Yes, no and, and which um, agency are you with or which court? I was going to say, I have oh, now, yeah. oh, my God, I've been trying to meet with Nowcast. <laughs> you did. I know. Well, there you I, go. I am, uh, I've heard so many great things about your publication, about I look, I find data from your from yes. your website. I was trying to map the free Wi-Fi centers in San Antonio. There was a map there. They already had a map. Yes. So I, you have been a, I've heard so many great things about you. I met with Scott from the